Tim Ellison's middle name is Hospitality. He is a chef, a sommelier, and frequent restaurant goer who dazzles and dishes with students in the kitchen and classrooms of the Pacific Institute of Culinary Arts. Once a month or so, he pops into Studio 4, and it is my pleasure to welcome Tim Ellison back to Studio 4 to dazzle us some more. Good morning. Well, you dazzle because you dress so dazzling. You're so depa. Well, you know, in the hospitality industry, presentation's a lot of it. It sure is, mm -hmm. isn't it? Absolutely. And yet you can get a plate that's beautiful and drizzled with uh, sauce and all of that and it's not hot or it's not good. Proof is in the pudding, absolutely. You bet. Yeah. Are, are there trends right now in um, the culinary world? Sim simple, stacked food, yeah, fusion yeah. food? I think I think that the comfort food. Comfort food. People are getting a, a little bit tired of it. Um, you know, like going out for dinner and paying twenty-five dollars for meatloaf doesn't really ring with people. <laughs> so I think that what they're doing is they're making things like macaroni and cheese and putting truffles mm. in it and lobster, and they're trying mm. to take those things. Like you hear about people making hot dogs with foie gras and other exotic ingredients and just trying to elevate it. I think we are going to see a trend for a lot of like the fusion food of bringing in foreign um, methods and 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 ingredients and combining them. Yeah, I think we're going to see a lot of that. Okay, so if you don't want a $100 hot dog, <laughs> and there is such a thing. Yes. Dougie in dogs. this city. Yeah, on Granville Dougie Dogs, marinated in Remy Martin Louis the 13th, served with lobster. Yeah. <laughs> well, surprise. If that isn't your idea of happiness mm. for Valentine's You're Day, right. there are other options. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Lots of options in this town. So many. Mm -hmm. Diva at the Met, for one. It's uh, such a beautiful room, very dramatic, and as I've said, Hamid's doing a wonderful job there. And you know, when I think about Valentine's Day, for me, like the, the, the ultimate dining experiences is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a cozy room with some, you know, dark corners that you can kind of tuck yourself into and spend a little bit of time just being with mm -hmm. your dining partner in a kind of an intimate fashion. And, and Diva's got all kinds of places where you can kind of hide and, and be in a little romantic uh, getaway. Yes, it does. Thing. And if you get terribly romantic, you can rent a room. That's right. They're very conveniently <laughs> go located upstairs. upstairs. I know. Yes. But is he the chef who does that molecular gastronomy? Yeah, Hammy does play with that kind of stuff. And he's, he's like the Noma movement out of Copenhagen, really pushing the boundaries with food, breaking ingredients down, reworking them, and, and, and representing them in unique, uh, mm. in unique, unique ways, highlighting the food. It's mm. very cool what he's doing. Yeah. Wedgwood, too, uh, has uh, yes. romantic vibes. Oh my god, you know, for me, one of the most romantic places in town, the dining room proper is gorgeous, set in the back off the lounge, I love it, but you know, having snacks, or a bottle of champagne, or a bottle of wine on the couches in front of the fireplace mm. in the lounge is probably one of the most beautiful little spots in town. It is, and the David Bierk painting mm -hmm. uh, above you, and uh, the girls make a fine martini. I was going to say the martinis or the are boys. really great. Yes. Yeah. Whoever's behind the bar. They all, they got very mm -hmm. consistent service. And again, so. you can slide upstairs. <laughs> Super. And there's a spa and all of that, but I think most of the hotels, boutique hotels and the other hotels, the bigger hotels have packages for Valentine's. Absolutely. I'm thinking. Yeah, absolutely. The big mm -hmm. hotels will give you. If you say you know you're coming into town, you want to book a nice dinner and get a room, they'll they'll always give you a rate because they know that you're going to spend a fortune in their mm -hmm. restaurant, and they honestly have a very strong interest these days with drinking and driving to make sure that everybody's getting home exactly. safe and having a good time. So it's mm -hmm. in their best interest. And quite frankly, hotels are empty in the middle of February anyway. So and what Valentine Princess doesn't deserve petals scattered around your bath. That's right, or rose petals, you know, on the on the hallway floor as you go to your room. Uh, of by course. nymphs. Um, yes, yeah, spread by nymphs. <laughs> yes, by nymphs, of yes. course. Uh, as, uh, if you like a view, Salmon House on the Hill. I'm looking at your list here. Yeah. I'm not deciding, yeah. you're deciding. Sure, and, and you know, like Salmon House on the Hill, a lot of those view restaurants can be very romantic, and I think of places like the Tea House, Salmon House on the Hill, mm -hmm. Horizons and Burnaby Mountain. You know, these are places you go, you know, even places like La Belle Burge out in, in uh, mm -hmm. Ladner. You know, they're very cozy, beautiful spots. You get that, the dark, the dark uh, ambiance, the view out the window, the revolving restaurants like Cloud Nine can be Sure, can what be about fresh nice atop uh, the fresh mountain? for sure. For you know sure, what? in I, West I Vancouver. Love, and, and let's not forget, like, in the outlying areas, 
area so fresh and West Van Regalad's quite nice as well you know in Burnaby you've got the Hard House restaurant on Deer Lake mm -hmm. very gorgeous gracious old building uh, Scott Yeager and his wife Stephanie the job they're doing at the Pear Tree on uh, Hastings is really fantastic mm -hmm. he wins a lot of awards he's an amazing chef so Apparently dedicated so, because you know. he goes on uh, those little team trips where yeah. they compete a lot he represented Canada in the Bakus store hot competition mm -hmm. in Lyon I mean the guy is top-notch you know everything <laughs> what about Il Nido? Yes, the Been nest. Been here a long time. It sure has, and it's one of those little hidden hideaways. It, Il Nido is Italian for the nest. It's in the Manhattan apartments at the corner mm -hmm. of Thurlow and Robson. Right. Just tucked away, and you know, pasta, they can do a beautiful job, and you can have some really lovely meals, but it's such a cozy, little, intimate, sexy room. I, I, I just adore Very it. Very Northern Italian. Big time, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're seeing a lot more uh, use of truffle and mushrooms. There's more uh, meat on the plate, as it were, because of the Northern Italian Italians tend to, you know, have a little bit more elaborate diet than the southern Italians, which just kind of, you know, tossed a net in the sea and saw what was mm -hmm. happening and just went from there. The Mediterranean diet or the fattier diet? Maybe yeah. not fattier, but a little. Well, I would say a little fattier, for sure. <laughs> a little yeah. fattier. Up in the north, you, well, yes. it's, it gets colder, so uh -huh. you need that extra and layer. And Valentine's Day, you know. Who cares well, you wanna, about you, calories? You want to have a, a nice, rich meal because it slows your metabolism, and that way your partner can't get mm -hmm. away from you quite so easily. Exactly. And they make them easier to catch. Well, if you don't have a partner, you can go out with the girlfriends or the boyfriends. <laughs> well, and then you Why who, knows, not? who knows how things and will you work can, out for you. And you can watch the couples in the restaurant who only go out on Valentine's, and they don't really like each other. That's right. And then you can be happy that you're single with your friends mm -hmm. and Exactly. Yourself. And you can make up stories about yeah. them. And it's like, the, it's like that TV show where they show the bad movie, and they make up the words. Words. You can make no. up the dialogue for them. I mean, you probably always get out do. Of the always do. A Villa de Lupo, House oh, of yeah. the Wolf. Lupo yes. Wolf. Yep. Yes. Lupo's the Wolf. Old and house, beautiful. Yeah, Michael Mamelli. I mean, it is a beautiful spot, and and I don't, you know, you don't hear a ton about it, and I think that these guys kind of work under the radar. They, it's a beautiful room. The yes. food is amazing. You know, Julio the chef is fantastic. Michael is a top-notch restaurateur. I mean, trained by, you know, working with Jack at the Top Table mm -hmm. Group. Does a fantastic job. And wasn't Julio the chef one of the original owners? When, when it first started up. When it first started. The, the, the management team had the restaurant, they sold it, waited for the new guy to drive mm -hmm. it into the ground, and then went back and bought it for a nickel okay. on the dollar, probably. Well, that's easy to do in the restaurant business. Buy it, drive it into the ground, sell it. Yes, that's right. It happens more often than <laughs> yeah, not. Yeah, can't yeah. afford to buy extra wine that's right. or stock the cellar. Oh, yeah, I went into a restaurant and uh, I, you know, I wanted to have a glass of Prosecco, and the woman said, well, we don't have Prosecco, but I'm willing to give you uh, some champagne as a substitute. And I perked up and went, oh, that's very nice. And then she brought me a bottle of Andre baby duck and it said champagne on the label I was like yeah not so much you it's need not to real the, champagne need to send the boss to the liquor store and being a Somalia you know that real champagne has to come um, from, from champagne in France absolutely okay. it's otherwise it's sparkling trademark. wine as I like to say if I'm from Canada you don't call me Mexican true but we could but you're not ole yeah it wouldn't ole. be appropriate ole. I think there's a whole bunch of Mexicans that would be deeply offended mm. A heart house, heart house, heart house. Yeah, Burnaby, the, the Smolens place, uh, Paul and, and Carol Smolens place on, on uh, Deer Lake in, in Burnaby. It's a beautiful, old, gracious building, you know, maybe the Hart family, been there since the right. turn of the last century. Gorgeous views across this big, expansive lawn to Deer Lake. Oh, mm. beautiful. And uh, their, their GM is X Chin Chin. Um, they do a really nice job there. X Chin Chin, the GM. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Il Giardino. Uh, yeah, these are. I call it my office. Exactly. I mean, you know what? Uh, um, <laughs> Don't tell him, Bert. Oh, yeah. The, I'm, sure, I'm sure he'll start charging you a lease. <laughs> mm, um, probably. He, he's, not, he's, not, he's not too slow on that kind of stuff. But I mean, Umberto, the consummate restaurateur. Il Giardino, mm. so beautiful, so cozy. It's been and there for Bobby so long. Bobby takes care of you. Yeah. Always. And, and people are singing opera, and the wine mm -hmm. is always great, and the food is fantastic. It's, yes. And yeah. it's romantic. Yeah, yeah. In the, for a place like that, it's perfect for that. It's It's got old bones. It's been there forever. It's worn mm -hmm. in. And you just feel, you go in and mm -hmm. you feel instantly comfortable in the room. And if your date's boring, you can talk about what you used to do at Umberto's. <laughs> right. <laughs> have you have yes, the dull you, date. That's right, you could. Mm -hmm. Rain City Grill. Yeah, um, Harry Campbell's is placed down on English Bay. Uh, yeah, I think it's a beautiful little room, very cozy, especially if you go mm -hmm. in and the front not so much, the upper level, mm, but the, on the back of the restaurant there's kind of like this little oh, lower right. area and mm -hmm. if you you can get tucked in back there by the window, it's really cozy. And the really food is quiet. very modern, isn't it? So it to speak. Is. Yeah, I mean the, the 
the, the, the influence there is to produce classic kind of West Coast cuisine, but you know, Harry with you know, the new and C and working with some pretty serious chefs, they're always yeah. pushing the envelope there, sure. so they do a nice job. Sure, and you mentioned La Regalada in West End, it's yeah. like going to Paris, but oh, you don't yeah. have to buy the ticket. <laughs> And it's exactly. always really busy. And the waiters are friendlier. It feels so French. <laughs> True. <laughs> and the coffee isn't 10 bucks. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Pierre de Terre. Yeah, you know, Audrey Durbeck's place on uh, on Canby. It's a, just a tiny little room, very cozy, very small. Uh, really nice continental food, classic French dishes. But I just love the, the intimacy of it. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, bistro kind of style of service. Sure. Very, he very has authentic. another one, La Buca. La, Still has that? La Altra Buca. Oh, La Altra um, Buca. That was his place in the Buchan Hotel, and I think he's closed that down. Okay. So he's got Cafeteria on Main, he's got Pita Terry, he's got a couple other ones, mm, too. Mm, mm. Keeping himself now, out Bob of trouble. Now, Bob Bao Bay, um, you know, the, the tennis thing's new place on uh, Keeper Street in, in Chinatown. They got a really nice little row of, of tables. There's a booth to the back, but what I try to do is when you come in the door, the bar's at the front, the row of tables, not the booth, not the one next to the booth because the booth can get quite raucous, but there's a, a little table next to that, and you're kind of at the end of the room, and it's really quiet and cozy, and you're seeing, you know, Joel Watanabe's cuisine, very, mm. um, a kind of a modern take on classical uh, Chinese dishes that come from his heritage, and they're, they're Pan-Asian, and it's really, really fantastic. Good. You know, yeah. I haven't been yet, I have oh. to go, and I haven't been to Lavatoire in Gaston. Oh my God. I have to go. Lee, you know, Lee's doing a fantastic job. A Lavatoire, I didn't mention it when we were talking about Valentine's Day, and I tried to stay away from some of those places, because you know what, you're not getting in. You're not for getting in. <laughs> yeah, it's just not happening. But make um, a reservation today, if you're a thinking person. Yeah. Thinking man thinking who person. wants happy wifey for lifey exactly happy wife happy life uh, you know mm -hmm. so you can do is make a reservation and you never know get on waiting list or something like that or sure. go early or go late I well, mean you don't have to eat at seven o'clock well true no you don't but uh, eating at ten you know about the uh, sugar count in the blood and all of well, that. Well, then you're obligated it's to work Valentine's. it off we after. We don't care. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Oh, I never thought of that. <laughs> Thank you. Sandy. Nice to see it's you again. Fun. Tim yeah. Allison, Pacific Institute of Culinary Arts. He's a chef and a sommelier. He's a chef de cuisine, actually. Uh, remember, you can catch all of our conversations on YouTube or follow us on Twitter at Fanny Studio 4.